Hi guys, Josh here. Welcome to Frames Per Second. Today we're shooting Ilford Pan F Plus on my Canon P with the Jupiter lens. And so this is a film stock I've also been meaning to shoot for a long time. And I've had this role for a year. But yeah, I haven't really been out where it's, it's sunny enough to kind of shoot a 50 ISO film. So I've had this in the works for a while. Finally getting around to it. And the, my friend Hashem also has a really good video about it because it's his favorite black and white film stock. So I'd say go check that out as well. But hope you enjoy the video. Let's get to it. So this is my first time shooting Ilford Pan F Plus 50 and I don't shoot a lot of film that are this low ISO. And here's some overlapping frames because there was a screw loose in my rewind lever which kind of stopped the film from advancing so I had to fix that up. Which meant I had to rewind the film and then reload it and I forgot which number I was up to. I will say I love the contrast of this film and obviously being a low ISO film and a black and white one it was bound to have contrast but also fine grain and it does look super fine but there's something about it that doesn't feel digital to me and obviously we're shooting film but there have been some films I've shot that do kind of have a digital look to them especially when shooting on larger formats but here there's still some grain that just gives it that quality to it but it's not obviously not as grainy as other films like I will say when I've shot FP4 it definitely looked a bit more grainy and even Delta 100 had a bit of a grain to it that isn't the same here. In fact the blacks of this almost remind me of old Akros. Yeah it's it's a really nice film and I, I definitely do recommend my friend Hashem's video on it because he's shot it a lot more. This was my first roll. He shot countless rolls and so I definitely recommend going there if you want a bit of a deeper dive but this is just my first time trying it. And one definite positive of shooting a low ISO film is that you do get to shoot faster lens speeds and so I could go a bit lower with my aperture. This was great for when it was bright and sunny but when it, when it did start to get darker I did have to go on slower shutter speeds which, which did become a problem. Not here, the shot's actually really nice. I, I actually really like this shot. That's the thing about film, isn't it? You make a choice when you put your film in and you have to live with the choice as well. And that's one of the things I do like about shooting film is that I'm making a choice and I have to problem solve because of the choice I made. And later on there are some shots that are definitely not usable because of motion blur. This, the sun was still bright for this and I like this shot as well. But yeah, it's definitely not versatile if you're going to be shooting later in the afternoon or night or early in the morning. Unless of course you have a tripod, which I didn't. But it's just a really nice looking film with a very pleasing quality to it. But it's still very fine grained and almost has a digital look to it, but still retains a filmic quality. And that's obviously what you're looking for when you're shooting on film. And yeah, <laughs> then these random um, dragon dancers kind of came out and there was somebody like holding a, 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 a sign that I think said like a million dollars or something. I don't know if somebody won or if they were just like kind of doing a test or something. But yeah, it was random, but I'm glad I ran into this because I really needed to finish the roll. <laughs> and I, I popped off a few shots here. So the motion blur is not too bad in these ones because it is direct sun hitting that building.
Now, I was using my Canon P with a Jupiter lens, and the Jupiter lens isn't the sharpest lens in the world. And so that's where low ISO films can be quite handy, because it definitely does look a lot sharper than it would if I had a higher speed lens. And that's another thing to note is that a lot of your image quality comes from the lens, not just the film. And the camera body itself plays less of a role in that. Obviously it can affect the shutter speeds you can use and just the ergonomics and usability. But I, I definitely will be shooting more of this film. Like, probably not a lot. Just because black and white film development is a bit expensive when you don't do it yourself. And here are the shots that are kind of ruined by motion blur. But then also I think my focus was a bit off because it was getting quite dark in these areas. Which the ISO film didn't help that much with and it's definitely a film stock that I am going to shoot more of in the future and so I do recommend it and like I said go and watch Hashem's video it's much more detailed and he's got much more experience with the film as well so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it and check out this guy on his little rowboat thanks for watching guys hope you liked the video please let me know your thoughts on the film in the comments below and the images as well let me know which one's your favorite and feel free to like and subscribe turn those post notifications sooner when there's a new episode anyway i'm josh this has been frames per second let's get out there shoot some films